when you build um, iOS uh, applications uh, using PhoneGap, you need to create um, uh, signing certificates uh, uh, before you can uh, build the application. In order to create signing certificates, you'll have to have an app, Apple developer account, but it can be quite tricky to create these uh, certificates unless you use the new built-in Genie in Alpha to help you build the certificates. So let's start out here. We'll go over to uh, the PhoneGap uh, Builder here, and we'll click on the new iOS Certificates Genie um, hyperlink, which opens up the Genie. So here we can fill in the folder, uh, which is the, the folder on uh, the machine that we're working on, in other words, our development machine, where the certificates are going to be stored. This is the ID for our Apple developer account, and this is the password that we want to uh, define for the P12 file that we're going to be creating. So let's fill in these values and then click the next button to move on to the next screen. So now that we've uh, filled in those initial parameters, we move on to step two over here. And the, in this step, we're going to create a certificate signing request file. So we'll go ahead there and press this button. And that's going to create a certificate signing request file, which we're going to then use uh, on our Apple developer account to create a certificate. So we'll go next. And you can see here that the next step is we log into our Apple developer account. So uh, here we are on our Apple developer account over here. And then we go to the certificate section. So we'll go back here and go over to certificates where we're going to basically go ahead now and create a new certificate. So you're only allowed to have a certain number of certificates. So I'm going to go to this certificate over here and actually um, revoke it. So I'll go there and revoke that certificate. And now I'm going to go here and create a new certificate. This is going to be a certificate for iOS app development. So I'll just say continue. And now I can go and upload the certificate signing request file that I created in step one. So there we are. And I'll go there and uh, select that file and uh, hit continue. And now the certificate has been created. So I'm going to go ahead now and download that file. And then I'm going to take that file, uh, the downloaded file, uh, copy it to the clipboard. And then go back here and put the file in my certificates folder. So I'll go there and paste. So now we have this file in our certificate folder. So now that moving on to the next step, the next step is to create a provisioning profile. So the provisioning profile defines uh, what um, devices the uh, app that you're building can be loaded on and a bunch of other uh, stuff that Apple requires. So we'll go back to our Apple uh, developer account and we'll create a provisioning profile. So we're back here at our Apple developer account and we're going to go back now to um, profiles. And you can see we have a bunch of existing profiles here. So we'll just go ahead here and add a new pro profile for iOS app development. And then we'll choose uh, an app ID. So we're going to go ahead here and choose a wildcard uh, ID. If you don't have any existing uh, IDs, to, app IDs to choose from, you'll need to go to the identifiers section to create uh, your uh, uh, um, app ID. So I'll go there and hit continue. Then I can specify which certificates I want to use. So I'll just go and say use all. And then I can go here and choose which devices we want to basically install this iOS app on. So I'll go here and say select all. If you don't see the device that you want to uh, provision, you can go back uh, to, um, I believe it's, if we go back um, to, uh, where was it? Uh, let's go here to devices and we can basically uh, provision more devices. So we'll just go back here and uh, go again. So iOS development, continue, choose my uh, app ID, continue, choose my certificates, continue, choose my devices, uh, continue, and then give this a name. So I'll just call it X2. 
200 and then go ahead and uh, generate and then download. So now we have this new file called x200 mobile provision. So we're going to copy that uh, into our certificates folder. So I'll just copy that to the clipboard. Go back to my genie, uh, open the certificates folder and then just paste that in. So go ahead now and move on to the next step. So this is going to be uh, step five. So this is where we actually create the P12 file. So I'll go ahead now and press this button. So it tells me the P12 file was created and now I'll press next. So we're done now. So at this point now I've got a mobile provisioning profile and I've also got a P12 file. And I can now go over to uh, say the phone gap build site and upload those uh, files or if I was building uh, in Xcode I could uh, install those files in my Xcode um, environment. So I'll go ahead here and uh, press finish and then say yes and then here are the files that I'm going to need to uh, upload to uh, say for either PhoneGap build or into Xcode. Thanks very much for watching.